Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. Today I'm going to discuss a topic that I get asked to cover quite often. People send me questions all the time asking me to explain the size system that Smith & Wesson uses with their revolvers. What do the different frame sizes mean? What are they available in? You know, and so on. So today I'm going to do just that. I'm going to go over the system they use to denote the size, caliber, etc., of their guns. Now this is going to be a little bit technical. It's not going to be really exciting. It's not going to be a bunch of razzle-dazzle. But if you're interested in learning the actual uh, specifics of their sizing system, keep on watching. We're going to start off, of course, with a J-frame. Now, if you want to think about a J-frame in semi-automatic terms, think of it as this is their subcompact size gun. It is their smallest revolver, and it has a lot of variations available. Now, they are a small frame gun, and they have barrels that range anywhere between 1 and 7 eighths inch up to about 3 inches, and they're chambered in everything from 22 long rifle up to 357 Magnum, including 22 Magnum and 38 Special. Depending on what it's chambered in, the capacity is anywhere between five and eight rounds. Five rounds for 357 Magnum at its maximum, and eight rounds of 22 long rifle at its maximum. The guns are made with a variety of materials. You can get them with scandium alloy frames, aluminum alloy frames, titanium cylinders, steel cylinders, stainless steel cylinders. You can get stainless steel bodies. They come in a variety of materials. And like I said, they are meant to be the small carry gun, the backup gun maybe, if you like something bigger for self-defense. But that's basically what their J-frame line is. It's anywhere up to 357 Magnum. It generally holds five rounds unless it's in 22. And it is a very short barreled gun generally, but it can be had in three inch barrels, mainly the 22s and stuff that are for the range. But you can get a 357 Magnum with a three inch barrel also. And that is the J frame in a nutshell. All right, the next up from the J frame, which would be kind of like their compact line, is a K frame. Now, K frames also come in a lot of different configurations. Caliber wise, you can get them in everything from 22 up to 357 Magnum, much like the J frames. The biggest difference is they hold more rounds. They're a little bit larger frame, remember that. They hold more rounds and they can be had generally in a little bit bigger barrels. Depending on what caliber it's in, if it's in 357 Magnum, it's most potent caliber, it's a six round gun. It gives you one more round than the J frame. Like I said, it's more of a compact than a subcompact. And if you're doing 22 long rifle, it can hold up to 10 rounds. Now there's a wide variety of barrel lengths. You can get it anywhere from two and a half inches, which is one made more for carry, up to six inches, which is more made for the range. And the 22 guns are the ones that are more often available in the longer barrel lengths because those are usually for the range. They're for plinking. Now in the K-Frame series, the materials you're gonna see most often are steel and stainless steel. Not gonna see a lot of variation in the material builds of the Ks because they don't make a lot of Ks anymore. The K is kind of an outdated frame size. The only thing you really see in K frames nowadays is remakes or classic guns or modern versions of classic guns. That's what you really see in the K frame and that right there is pretty much what it's all about. Next, you have the L frame. Now I know a lot of people think the K and the L are the same because usually they see everything as K and L frame. But there is a difference. The K frame is a little smaller than the L frame. This L frame is a little bigger. This is a 69. I showed you a 66 a minute ago. A lot of people think those are the same frame. But no, the L frame, the 69, is bigger. And it's bigger because it's a little taller. That's the main difference. The frame itself, the opening in the frame is a little taller and the cylinder is a little thicker. The diameter is a little greater. These guns also come in a wide variety of configurations. As far as caliber goes, they're pretty much like the K-frames, except they add a couple calibers. You can also get nine millimeter and even 44 mag. So you'll generally see these in nine millimeter, 357 Magnum, or 44 Magnum. Now, as far as capacity is concerned, well, it depends on what caliber you're using. If you're using the 44 Magnum, it's gonna be a five round gun. If you are using 357 Magnum or nine millimeter, you can get up to seven rounds in it. So that's one more round over the K-frame. You also see the inclusion of titanium being used along with the standard steel and stainless steel. 
The L-frame was basically built to kind of overcome some of the problems they were having with K-frames back in the day when Magnum rounds were getting stouter. So like I said, just a little bit bigger, available in more calibers. Now, as far as barrel lengths go, you can also get it in a slightly bigger barrel length. It ranges from 2.5 inches to seven inches in barrel length, depending on what caliber you choose and what kind of gun you're looking for. If it's more for carry, it's gonna have the smaller barrel. If it's more of a range gun, the longer barrel. And that pretty much sums up the L frame. All right, next up we have what I would consider to be their full size models, and that is the N frame. Now, N frames come in a lot of different configurations also, but they are mainly 44 Magnum guns. You can get nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, 45 Colt, uh, and even 357 Magnum, but generally everybody thinks of them as 44 Magnums. That's what the platform is designed for. And depending on which caliber you get it in, you can have between six and eight rounds. Six rounds would be the 44 Magnums, the 45 Colts, etc. And in the other calibers, you can get up to eight rounds. Like you can get eight rounds of 357 Magnum in an end frame. That's one of their big advantages. And they make them in different materials. You can get them with scandium frames, with steel frames, with stainless steel frames, titanium cylinders, steel cylinders, etc. You can get these in very lightweight configurations and even with barrels as short as two inches. That's an ultimate carry gun there. Eight rounds of 357 Magnum, two inch barrel, very lightweight design, but you can get them in barrel lengths up to seven and a half inches if you're looking for something more suited for hunting or something like that. And that's pretty much the end frame there. It is their full size line and it moves up to 44 caliber. So it's a bigger, more powerful gun. But if you want to stick with rounds like 357 Magnum, you get more rounds. All right, next in the lineup, we have the X-Frames. These are the big boys, like this 460 here. These come in the higher calibers, what you consider boutique calibers. The 350 Legend, the 460 Magnum, the 500 Magnum. These are the calibers that these guns are predominantly made in. And they generally hold between five rounds and seven rounds. Seven if you get the 350 Legend, five if you get the other bigger calibers, like the 460 and the 500. Now the barrel lengths of this gun vary widely. You can get it in a three and a half inch barrel, which is more for show and you know getting a big old fireball because they're not made for carry, they're giant guns, but it's just cool to have a giant snubby sometimes. But you can get it in barrel lengths up to 14 inches. And these longer barrels are very clearly made for hunting. These are hunting revolvers. They are in calibers that can take down big game easily. And those longer barrels give them an advantage. Like if you have a handgun hunting season where you live, that's what these guns are designed for. And that's pretty much the X-frame category explained. Now there is one last category. It's not really as big as the X-frames, but it is considered to be like their biggest frame kind of because of its length. And that is the Z-frame. Now the only gun available in the Z-frame is the Governor. And the governor comes in very limited different variations. They all shoot the same caliber. They're 410, 45 ACP, 45 Colt. They have the same capacity. They're six rounds. And they have the same barrel length. It's 2.75 or two and three quarter inch barrels on them. And they are all made with scandium frames and stainless steel cylinders and barrels. You can get one that's all coated black or you can get one that has the bare stainless steel cylinder and has the frame coated in a silver color. But like I said, not a lot of variation here. They're basically just an end frame that's been stretched to accept a cylinder that will hold 410 shotgun shells. So that's pretty much the Z frame right there. It's just those two guns, two different colors of the same model. All right, there you have it. That's the frame sizes explained. Now that might seem like there's a lot there to remember. There's lots of models, there's lots of variations that you do have to remember. But if you just keep the basics in mind, like J frames are the subcompacts and they're usually five rounds and you can get them up to 357 Magnum. K and L frames are generally the compact size guns. You can get a little bit more. You can get six rounds in a K, seven rounds in an L of 357 Magnum. N frames are the 44s where you go up to more bigger, calibers with six rounds instead of five, like you can squeeze into an L. And then X, that's just the giant hunting guns. 
you know, just for big booms and taking down prey. And then you have the governors. So pretty simple if you keep those things in mind. And I hope that was fun for everybody. I actually like talking about stuff like this. So if you have any requests for things like this, let me know. But for right now, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. I'll see you again tomorrow. And until then, remember, always carry, especially if it's one of these, and stay safe until I see you again. Hey everybody, Yankee here. Just wanting to remind everyone, if you want to support this channel and the programs that we sponsor, or you just want some official Yankee Marshall Posse merchandise, you can go over to tympistolproject.com and there is a wide selection of merchandise over there. Pick yourself out something, buy yourself something nice. Anytime you buy a t-shirt, you get two entries into this month's friend drawing. You buy any other item, you get one entry into this month's friend drawing and all profits go to the Pets and Vets Fund that we support. So go on over, get yourself some merch, help save an animal in need, and maybe win a prize. Hey everyone, Yankee here. You know, in my videos, we often cover some complicated subjects. Subjects with a lot of gray area. So if you would like to further discuss anything said in my videos, please join us in one of my live chats. Live chats are held most days at 6 p.m. Pacific time, except for Monday and Wednesday when they are at 5 p.m. Pacific. There is a clickable link to the live chats in the upper right hand corner of this video. If you disagree with anything I've said in a video, feel free to participate in Spank the Yank. You can come on the live discussion panel and let me know face to face how I was wrong.